Well, hello, you wonderful people. It's time for the Q&A video. To celebrate 3,000 subscribers here on YouTube channel. And technically also 3,000 subscribers on my Instagram. Thanks, you guys. That means a lot. It's interesting how the both figures <laughs> worked out perfectly. It's been a long journey. I've been doing YouTube for over a year now. So getting 3,000 subscribers is, is an accomplishment. It feels great to know that there are people who really like my content and having fun watching my reactions. Although some of you definitely enjoy me crying. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, back to the original topic. So I've asked you to ask me questions and a lot of people actually responded. So here's some things that you wanted to know. Natalia Natka, what is your biggest dream? What is my biggest dream? A fun thing about me is that my biggest dreams change all the time. Like the main, main biggest dream is just life in peace. Oh, I think I'm overthinking, but I guess my biggest dream is to live a happy life without any problems, which is something that is absolutely not achievable. But in that very dream, I would also like other people to live their lives without any problems. It might be a boring life, but so what? A life without worry, stress, and ADHD and worse. Yeah, I guess that's my biggest dream. But if I was to speak of something that is actually achievable, widening my amazing YouTube community, reaching the 100,000 subscribers, and getting the actual YouTube button, you know, the silver one that you get once you reach 100,000 subscribers. Oh my god, I totally want one. Now, Genshin Rizpact. Tell me a good date idea which both me and her can enjoy. I don't know who her is, but if I'm being honest with you, if you want to know a good day idea, it's best to just check that girl or boy out, whoever it is that you want to date. Get to know her, what they like and dislike, what their dreams, preferences, style, combine all of this together and come up with something original. Something that it's not really, really expensive because that's not what counts. It's the thought that counts, I think. Be yourself and don't stress, don't overthink. It's gonna go great. I hope I understood that question correctly. Now, Phantom Rose 93, my Patreon. What is your favorite anime and manga art style? I don't really have a favorite manga art style because I read mangas, manhuas, manhuas, uh, normal comics, colorful, black and white. There are so many styles that I absolutely love. So I don't really have a favorite one. I like them all. Because at the end of the day, all of the anime and manga, they come from real people like you and me who have spent days and nights drawing, creating and coming out with these ideas, you know, working to the bone, working themselves out for our sake, for the sake of our enjoyment. So I try to appreciate any style, even the style of the people who are literally just starting and also people who are making gacha comics, like yourself, Phantom Rose 93. You know, I appreciate all of the creators. Now, question from Acid4. Do you have a My Animalist account? I do, but the last time I've updated the list was in 2017, so it's, yeah, it's nothing to talk about. Question from Isaiah Sales. Do you dream of being a mother? As a matter of fact, I do dream of being a mother of dragons. Ha! The question from Julian. If you ever visit Argentina, would you like me to be your guide? Likewise, if I visit London. Of course, of course, you don't have to ask twice. Although I've been to London so many times, I don't really fancy going there and again, except for the actual comic con, the mega con. And the question from Leonardo Arturo Saron. Your favorite cosplay. I think my favorite cosplay so far was my cosplay of Makima, but I also really enjoyed cosplaying Mau Mau. Although I was proper improvising on the cosplay of Mau Mau, but I really enjoyed styling my hair, wearing the jewelry in my hair. It was just an amazing experience. PC Marsh. From here, sight, taste, smell, which one to remove and one to enhance. Not like a superpower. Okay, I gotcha. So you're talking about removing one completely to enhance another one? Mm. Well, obviously I had a COVID 
and not having the smell for months, smell and taste was awful. And the sad thing is that my smell used to be so good and it has gone down the hill after I had a COVID a few years ago. So I can live with that, I suppose. The taste is really important to me. Sight is very important too. And here, if I really have to choose and if I like, if I really didn't have a choice, um, but then it's tricky, right? Because if you don't have a smell, then you kind of struggle to taste. If you don't taste, then you struggle to smell, right? So yeah, I don't really know. I've got a terrible hearing. Maybe it's a selective hearing. Like sometimes my translator in the head just switches off when there's too much bullshit going on around me. <laughs> so it would be nice to have like a better hearing. But I don't, I just don't think it's the case of my hearing on my eardrums. I think it's just, yeah, skill that I've developed to ignore the things that aren't really relevant or there's too much of bullshit going on around me. Side is very important. Yeah, I'm not going to dwell too much on this question. I'm just going to say I could live without smell, but I need my taste, sight and hearing. And I'd love to enhance, enhance my hearing because I kind of believe that if I have enhanced my hearing, then perhaps I would struggle less with like understanding people and the different accents and, you know, perhaps my accent will get better as well. I don't know. I feel like it might be kind of related, but who knows? Siglia, what's your favorite food? Yakisoba. I love yakisoba. 11BC91, what's your favorite anime? <clears throat> favorite anime character doesn't have to be from your favorite anime. I don't have one favorite anime and I don't have one favorite character. But I guess the one I love the most is the fairy tale and a character from fairy tale, which is Erza Scarlet. Favorite meal, again, is the yakisoba, but I also love, really love sushi, bigos, goulash. Mm. Which countries are you eager to travel to? Well, I am eager to travel all the countries in Europe and I'd love to visit USA and Canada. But my top one country that I want to see is Japan and the second place is Korea. Oh yeah. Favorite movie of all time? I'm just going to go for it. Iron Man. <laughs> I love Iron Man. <laughs> but I also love Lord of the Rings. So since Lord of the Rings came first, and I have discovered it as a very, very young teenager, I'm just going to say Lord of the Rings. And Aragorn? Oh yeah. <laughs> I had a, such a hard crash on Aragorn, it's unbelievable. <laughs> if Harry Potter, which house? Okay, so I used to think that Gryffindor was the only way and the only house for me. But now as I grew up, I kind of understand anti-heroes and villains. And... In that way, I feel like I would be a good fit for the Slytherin. However, I am of a mixed blood. So I'd get so bullied in there, I better stick to Gryffindor <laughs> and be a good girl. <clears throat> Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? Lord of the Rings. I love Harry Potter books, but in reading them now, the magic is kind of gone in our adulthood. Lord of the Rings remains my favorite, my number one favorite forever. I haven't read the books, I'll be honest with you, but I've watched the movies so many times. What are your plans for future, for your channel and in private? Okay, um, plans for the f f plans for my channel. I am going to react to a Spy X family soon. I'm getting my cosplay for your forger real soon. Actually, it's on its way. And I'm also going to react to Attack on Titans cosplaying as Mikasa and I also want to include more funny videos you know like those one-off videos reacting to um, anime openings and guessing which anime they come from reacting to a funny episodes of certain animes I've seen some people do and I just thought oh my god I really want to do the same and I just thought to myself I want to do that too let's let's have fun and watch some funny anime out there. And who knows what life brings. I might I might just uh, I might react to another live action show. Who knows? But in terms of my plans for in private, um, so my ultimate goal is to quit my shift work that is really messing up with my health and schedule and go to a normal part-time job Monday to Friday. 
And my ultimate dream would be to have a part-time job and YouTube as full-time and then go YouTube full-time. But that dream is far, far away from achieving. Yeah, it's going to take some time, if ever. But you got to dream big, right? Oh, there is a question from Monglad, my Patreon. Did you travel to Japan or China? If not, do you intend to? Maybe you have some specific place you want to see. Oh, I've kind of, I have kind of already answered to this question. My number one holiday destiny is Japan. I definitely want to go to Japan next year. I couldn't go this year because of some unfortunate events in my family. Um, I had to travel back to Poland a few times. So yeah, I've never been to any Asian countries at all. But I want to go to Japan. Then I want to see Korea and I'd love to see China as well. It's like my top three. Oh, and there's a great question from Senji as well. If you could pick one anime character that you really like and admire, which one would they be? And if and if you could steal or rather adopt something like a trait or way of thinking or some sort of quality like that from their personality behavior, what would that be? So, I have probably said that before, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about it for me. That character is Erza's character from Fairy Tale. She has been the way she is, how strong she is, how much she suffered in her life. And each and every time she got up from her knees and she fought for her friends, her family, herself. That's, that's the sort of pathway I'm trying to follow for myself. Erza has been there for me. Her mindset, her character, the idea behind it has been there for me through, through so many years has helped me when I was at the literal bottom. It's unbelievable. I know some people look at fairy tale, think, ah, cheesy or one piece is knockoff. It doesn't matter to me. One piece is one of a kind in their characters as well. It's the anime that resonates with me the most. I have grew up a little bit now, so now I watch the first episodes of fairy tale and I'm laughing. But I can see why it has appealed to me. It was there for me in my darkest moments when I needed friends when I needed that friend-like family. And it really struggled during first, my first years in UK. When I moved to UK, it, it was really hard. And like I said, I was binging fairy tale over and over again. They were there for me. And eventually, believe it or not, I found people who enjoy live action role playing. And it kind of felt like entering the world of fairy tale because it was all happening in like medieval grounds. Everybody were dressed up as fairies or warriors, you know, of all kind and different sort of, I, it was just fantastic. And I was able to cosplay and I even built my own armor, you know, like a samurai leather made armor. I've done it myself. Um, and I was, a, I was a kitsune, a beast king. It was fantastic. I've made wonderful people out there. I was part of a guild. I really felt like I really belonged there in that fantasy world. But then I was also hanging out with these people outside this fantasy world, right? It was great. It's a shame I lived them down south. But then I have made a lot of, but I have made some really nice, decent friends up here where I live now. And I was always looking for people that have similar values to the characters from fairy tale. The kind of people you want to hang out with, be friends with you know, protect. And when you are feeling down, they are there to support you. And that's what the fairy tale is about. Like many other animes. Yes, I get that. But like I said, fairy tale was the, uh, the number one for me. And, and it still is, you know, Erza's Carla was my shining beacon. They call her Titania for a reason. No matter how many times she was knocked down, beaten up, abused, she always got up. But of course she wasn't alone. She had her friends who became her family. And that's basically me. Now, after all these years, I have finally achieved that. I've got friends like family. And sometimes friends that we choose become your family. And they're even better than your actual family. And now we are building this YouTube community full of like-minded people, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm super excited about it. It's such a shame that we are like spread all over the world and we'll probably never meet. But what's also amazing is that YouTube 
is bringing us all together and we can all enjoy the same shows, you know, laugh together, cry together, joke together. It's amazing. I'm really happy that I'm part of YouTube. Like becoming, being a YouTuber actually was my dream. It was one of, it was one of the questions you've asked me. But my, my dream in the past was to be, be a YouTuber. It's just that I never tried because back in the day and where I'm come from, having a YouTube channel in my own original language and being myself, I would probably hit a lot of criticism that I was not ready for. And now I'm able to have a channel in English whilst living in UK and I don't feel like a weirdo or a misfit anymore. The times have changed. Anime has become mainstream. Now people see me cosplaying and thinking, oh, she's so cool. But they used to bully me in the past, you know. A big middle finger to them, by the way. <laughs> as per my real Instagram, as some of you have seen. So yeah. Do I have any more questions? Mac O Walk. I've asked me when will I when will I record another episode of Oshinoko? Well, as a matter of fact, I have recorded two episodes of Oshinoko, and by the time I release this video, they will probably be, be on my Patreon um, or and YouTube. I don't think I have any more questions. I think I've answered all of them. Thank you so much you guys for being the part of this amazing journey my journey on youtube channel it's extraordinary it's an extraordinary feeling i'm not lying and i love getting to know all of you i hope that you have enjoyed this video and it will be popping in more often i will sure as hell do another q a video whilst once we reach another milestone which i will set as a 5000 subscribers yeah we'll see how many months will take I also have some plans. Patreon is rolling out this feature where you can gift your audience a Patreon membership for a month. So once this feature is rolled out, I will definitely do a giveaway for you guys. I also have some plans on designing my own merch. I'm sure that this will come true one day when I'm slightly less busy. I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, I hope I'm going to have more exciting news for you in the future. Once again, thank you very much. And I'll see you next video. Bye. <laughs>